Okay, so I can change basically my royal authority. I can now I have local tribes. I can change to sparsely organized tribes. And what that means is I can um, declare holy wars. And that should not anger my vassals because they are already, uh, they'll still be independent. Could become an emperor, but that's not going to happen for a while. I believe I have to have a realm size of 150. And that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, let's, uh, well, I don't know. What if I can raise a lot more troops now? Not enough time has passed for me to really be able to tell. Uh, I am your de jour liege, though. Hmm. You really should become my vassal. Not my de jour liege. I believe I am your de jour liege, actually. What are, what are, what are the uh, what are the de jour borders of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania? Oh, I see. I'm not his de jour liege. Hmm. See, I am the de jour liege of this guy, though. Well, well, this guy. No. Ah, false religion. Okay. This is a de jure part of what? The Kingdom of Wens? I'd like to have that. Some other time. Anyway, what should my ambition be now? That's my real question. I think something would be nice, but I think it'll happen anyway. Uh, winning a war would be okay. I think definitely increasing size of my demand, getting more stewardship would be nice. I have a claim on the tribal chieftain of Zemgali. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay, so cool. I have more power now. Uh, I want to get this sparsely organized tribes thing passed. I need to have 25 of my vassals agree to it. Shouldn't take too long now. Uh, this guy here should become my... Uh, well, he is my greatest enemy. He, he, he is my, uh... He's a pretender to the throne. That's why he's, he hates me so much, because he wants to be the ruler. Hmm. Just a few guys that like me anymore. There we go. That guy should do it. What do you want? The Chieftain of Trakai. I don't own the Chieftain of Trakai, though. This guy loves me, though. Um, Chieftain of Trakai. I don't own Trakai. It's not really any of my concern. Well, unless it's, uh... Oh, it's that whole area. Heck no. Heck no. You can't have it. He still loves me. Yeah, we're still buddies. Alright, well, I guess I need to wait for my vassals to finish doing their thing over there. I get 17 votes. That's nice, but... Why won't you vote for me? You like me. Let's make... Wow! Wow! I have a whole bunch more uh, titles to give out. Chamberlain. Academian. Hmm. Sure. Vote for me. There we go. So, this guy might revolt. Why? Well, that doesn't matter. Let's just make him Master Falconer. And that should solve the problem, right? Not right. What do you want? No, you can't have the Chieftain of Trakai. No, it's mine. I can usurp the Chieftain of Prussia, but I need more money. I need a lot more money. Hmm. I 
26.5 gold to pay this guy off. Oh, he, he'll no longer revolt. Good. Let's see, it looks like they're at war with someone. You're at war with... Kolomna? Oh, you're at war with this one here. County of Braslaw. Hmm. I have a du jour claim. Interesting. I really want to conquer these guys first, though. But first, I need to wait for the, uh... Oh? Oh, dear. This guy? 51% chance of success. He might declare war on us or free... Okay. Since he acted dishonorably, no one will care. That's fine. This will be seen as tyrannical, lowering all opinions by negative 60. Wow, okay. I won't be doing that then. Oh, I can change some more laws too. Yeah, so I'll just leave him in my jail. That's fine. He's not a threat to me there. Why does my wrist hurt so much? Ow. Uh, let's see. Increase town respect. I want to increase chieftain respect, definitely. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I need 199 gold to do that now. Now I only get four votes. Why is that? Sixty-four gold? I don't have sixty-four gold. Well, that sucks. Now I definitely need to declare a holy war or just do something to make myself more powerful. Because while I got this duchy, it's not really worth much. I guess I'll declare war on this guy and get my uh, claim on Zimgali. Declaring war on someone who is defending against heathens costs a lot of money. Oh. Well, I don't want to really fight with him. Is this part of Lithuania? No, it's not. Well, what can I conquer? I could declare war for Minsk, but the thing is, he could call in a lot of his buddies over here. Actually, no, he doesn't have that many buddies. Okay, well, actually. Yeah, let's declare war for Minsk. Cool. Yeah, most of my troops now are coming from my vassals. Which is fine. Oh, firstly, though, let's uh, stop leading stuff myself. There we go. Alrighty, so yeah, he called in his buddies. That's to be expected. Exactly who has he called? Okay, that's not bad. Yes, increase legalism knowledge. Fantastic. Okay, you 2,000, go ahead and start marching over there. The next group will be here momentarily. Oh, wow, that's going to be, looks like three armies. Nice. Okay, now, uh... There you go, that's split about evenly. So you guys go over there. Uh, oh, we don't have any leadership. Crown authority too low. Really? Well, I guess you can just go help this army in Minsk, then. Uh, you guys go over to Gomel. We need to conquer this one guy. Now we have lack of funds, but we have strong ruler, which is good. That should help us a lot. Oh. Well, alright. Looks like we removed her from our court. It's not going very well. We won a battle at Gomel. That's good. 
No. No, stop asking for the Chi to Motrakai. You can't have it. No. No, stop asking. Well, at some point I'll be able to change the laws. I'm just out of money. Good, the mod is now uh, just poor, as opposed to wretched like it was earlier. Hmm. Is this person important? Not really, no. I captured the bishop. Cool. I'm gonna ransom him now because I really need money. Really, really, really badly. Good, to accept my demands. No! You can't have my land. Cool. Now, let's see. I want to sell off this guy, too. Good, good, good. And I got myself some more land, too. Oh, I didn't get control of the land, though. Okay, that's fine. He's a filthy orthodox, so my vassals don't care that I'm revoking land from him. Cool. Now I got Minsk. It's not a very good province, but it's a province, and it'll help me out. And I increased the size of my domain, domain and I got more stewardship from it. Fantastic. Uh, I'd like to do it again. Further increase the size of my domain. Because I have an heir, it's not a big deal. Cool, cool. Ah, excellent. Vessels might revolt. There. Problem solved. Now, I can create this title once I have the money. Um, I need to win a war. Another war. I could claim that. And why not? Rudruk. Well, let's see. Again, what sort of friends can he call into his war? None. He has no friends in Europe. I can fight that war with just my levies. I'll do it. Declare war, your claim on Druk, and then uh, just raise my levies. No one else. No one else needs it to come. No big deal. You stop leading the army. Have Boudris lead it. What sort of heat is he packing over here? Not much. There we go. No you stop leading troops. Don't lead troops. That's very bad. Cool. I wonder if the Grand uh, Duchess over here will want to marry me now. Oh, it's too late. Oh well. I forget. What do I get for winning this war? Oh wait, hey, 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 hey. That's an Orthodox province. I need to convert it. I'm not sure if divining converts it, but uh... Whatever. I also need to create that duchy. That'll happen in time. Good. Quick victory. Done. Did I get the province? I did not, but I can revoke it. And now I have two weak claims, one on Kiev, and one on Hungary? Really? I wouldn't press that claim, but interesting. Could claim Kiev, would she become my vassal? She would. Hmm. Maybe later. Right now I need to have these guys stand down. Good job. And I want to revoke that province. Yay! Increase size domain. 
cool. Now I have a thousand prestige. And I can usurp the Grand Principality of Minsk, too. Not that I really need to do that, but I can. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Amass wealth. Ooh, that'd be nice to have 500. I'd spend it all, though, so... Let's instead want to win a war. Because I'll be fighting lots of wars anyway. Alright, any of these... Bad plots? No, no. None of them are that threatening. Where's my steward? Yeah, why aren't you raising taxes? Cool, making money, making money. So you guys, uh, you done fighting your war now? You are! If I declare war on you, what sort of resistance can I expect? First, let's have a look at my borders here. Okay. What sort of resistance would I expect if I declared war on you? Uh, these two guys are best buddies. I could expect resistance from over here and up here. Well, what sort of heat are you packing? What troops can you raise? About a thousand. It's this guy that scares me. 3,316. What am I scared for? Man, I can raise so many freaking troops. Because of all my vassals. But, of course, my vassals don't like me. Why don't you guys like me? Infidel. Oh, dear. Yeah, we definitely need to revoke all the infidels. Land. Oh. Too many held duchies imprisoned... This guy's orthodox. Revoke his land. Think. Yep. Revoke his land too. Actually, why don't I just go here and look and find them? Currently in the process of revoking that land. And we're revoking this guy's land. We should be revoking that guy's land too. Okay. I'll need to redistribute that. And actually, by creating new vassals, these people will like me. And then because they like me, they'll uh, vote for my law changes. So cool think. Maybe not. Do you like me? Yes, you do. Cool. Got some more prestige and piety. Hmm. Ah, well. This guy I really need to kill. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and declare war, I guess. Well, let's save the game first. Okay, I started another war. It is so nice not to have to worry about the logistics of getting these troops from East Africa over to the, the Holy Land. It's, it's very nice. Okay, that's what I thought. He would call in his buddy down there to help him. I don't think his buddy down there is going to be of much help to him, though. And he called in Zmud. That's what I thought he would do. All right, let's have an army of 3,000 here. Ooh. Oh, exactly 3,000. Fantastic. Cool, and have it march out. And these guys can join together in this army. You guys can come together. And I will have that guy lead it, and you guys can go over there. All right, very nice. And both of you guys can just, uh, yeah, go to up to there. See, if I win this war, what do I get? 100 prestige. That's it? That's fine. How, how are these new provinces anyway? What, uh, what's their value? 
Mm, okay. They don't really have the troops to uh, defy me, though, so that's good. The Nova's Lithuania are too autonomous. I have a lot of assholes that really don't like me. Let's see. This guy, I'll make him uh, Chamberlain. Let's see if that helps. Because I need to pass this new law. There we go. Ooh, you know, actually, I need to have these guys that are very powerful. There we go. Tribal Chief of Zmud. Let's make him Cut Bearer. Hmm, that didn't work. Well, that's fine, I guess. It'll have to be fine. Where are you going? Riga. Okay. You're right there at 15 December. You're over there at 9 December. All right, well. Get there first. Cool. So we should, uh, if we don't win this one, we should inflict severe casualties. There we go. I think this army actually doesn't have any leaders either, so that's really great that I'm winning this war. Is this guy over here doing anything? No? Okay, good. Just making sure. Alright, so we defeated their army. Now I guess you can go march around and try and find somewhere to, uh... Conquer. Cool. Now we just sit around and wait, I guess. Good deal. I need to get prestige. Having prestige will make my vassals like me. If they like me, they'll support my law changes. I need to have a lot of them support me. If I'm able to get that law change, though, that's really good. Really great. It's a set for legalism. Excellent. Cool. I got that. Now I can usurp two titles. My domain is too big. How is this province? Hmm. I'll give away this one. Let's give it to... Uh... Well, let's see. The tribal chief of Zmud. What does he think of me? Negative four. Oh, he's ambitious. No, you can't have it. Uh-uh. Let's see. What about this guy? He's not ambitious. Oh, I increased crown authority. That's why. Here, I'll grant this guy some land. Because after all, I need the... Piety. Oh, yeah, he's not je I won't get piety from it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So you're going to have the tribal chieftain of Druk. There we go. So now I can create a bunch of titles. And I really, really need money. Very badly. I guess we can have a son now, I suppose, at some point. And send these guys out to disband. One of my vassals declared war. On Polotsk? I don't know if that's such a good idea there, buddy. I don't like my vassals doing that either. Okay, let's see. This guy's a tribal chief. So let's uh, send him a gift and then make him uh, Master Falconer. There we go. Hmm. Hope 
hopefully that'll uh, get him to support my law change. Maybe. Yes, he supports it now. Good. Okay, this guy's a local chief. Let's send him a gift. Make him master of the hunt. And hopefully that will net his votes. It did not. I haven't gotten this guy's vote either. Darn. Oh well, as I get more prestige, I should achieve victory. I get prestige from uh, owning all these duchies, so if I could usurp them, that would be really great. Oh good, Knight of Sun, too. Uh, amassing wealth would be nice. Probably won't ever do it, though. So I could uh, declare war on this guy, but then I would border the Holy Roman Empire. And I really don't want to border the Holy Roman Empire. So I'll let him live for now. Um, I don't know, how about Kiev? I could declare war on Kiev, but again, what sort of heat are they packing? Yikes. Can I declare war on him? I could. Alright. What sort of troops can he raise now? A lot less than me, that's to be sure. Hmm. I have du jour claims on these provinces, but I'd like to get some non du jour claims too, like Riga, you know? Let's conquer his capital. Alright. You guys stop doing that. Let's get them organized into armies just before we're ever going to send them out. That, that'll be an army. Uh, this will be an army. Minus this guy who will jump up over here to join this army. There we go. Cool. 